Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Virgo December 25, 2022. The sun moved into your home and family, and today, a new moon occurs in this same area of your solar chart, stirring a desire or need to start fresh in your personal life. The weeks ahead are excellent for turning over a new leaf. This sector of your chart rules your sense of security, desire for safety and a feeling of belonging, and your support system. It's a time for new or renewed initiatives related to these matters. Reorganizing, redecorating, investing in a home or items for the home, and connecting to loved ones in healthier ways can be in focus. Living arrangements and conditions might be overdue for a change, and now is the time to work some magic. Tired old ways of relating can be more frustrating or glaring than usual today, which can fuel the motivation to make improvements. A fresh start is calling to you at this time. Today, a new moon in your solar fourth house of home, family, and domesticity arrives. This is an important period to make a change in these areas. If you live with your spouse or significant other, you can fix up your space, move, or even get into real estate. If single, consider updating your decor, getting new bedding, or transforming your living space into a dashing, romantic pad that encourages intimacy, passion, fun, and love. Remember, being able to present yourself positively is important in impressing others. Define your work and life balance and tailor your work environment to your liking. Today's new moon in Capricorn will open up a new six-month cycle that will allow you to structure your schedule and workspace to your preferences. However, you will have to be more authoritative with what you want to put in place instead of appeasing others. This may mean sticking to boundaries to adhere to your work-life balance and maintaining the organization in your workspace. Committing to these changes might be easier than usual since Chiron will station direct in Aries today as well. Last week saw Mercury move into a friendly aspect to the North Node and Uranus in your financial sector while this week Venus, the planet of money did the same. Just as the latter is separating the moon moves into a friendly aspect to both, making this the third time in two weeks that your financial confidence, instincts and imagination is getting a boost. Each time this increases the potential for unexpected, serendipitous or eureka moments. Power can be beneficial in many forms. Natural power, stamina and endurance are traits common to many in leadership positions, be they on sports teams, in classrooms or corporations. The heavenly bodies are now exerting a power that is most beneficial when used on your health. This powerful energy will protect you from interruption and the distraction of competition, while keeping you focused and motivated on your chosen goal. Use it to your advantage. Time to head on out for some fun and adventure. This day will certainly encourage you to take a more active role in life. As an essentially reclusive type, you may prefer to just stay in and take it easy but resist this. It's part of your life path to experience everything life has to offer, and you can't do that if you stick too close to your house and office. A little laughter and excitement will do you a world of good. Home is not only where your heart is today but where you are most emotionally and intuitively engaged, there is the most light and clarity, then most communication support and after yesterday's new moon a chance for new beginnings. The sun will always return to your home and family sector just before Christmas each year but yesterday's new moon got things off to an enthusiastic start. This comes just as Venus moves into her final 10 days here, with the planet of love making home where your heart is today and right through the holiday period. The moon's departure from your communication sector yesterday and the sun's a day earlier has left you with everything needed to move into a new phase of an ongoing relationship chapter with confidence. While Jupiter only returned three days ago and is ready for a start in Chiron, the planet of healing is now in direct motion, the dwarf planet Eris will remain in retrograde motion for another few weeks, giving you the option of new beginnings while still holding the doors open to the past. Our eyes in the sky. Today's Capricorn new moon means your mind will be sharp, 
So make the most of this astrological placement and get complicated work out of the way early in the day. As the day unfolds, the moon forms a minor frustration with Mars retrograde. There might be issues around letting go of the past, and there is a risk that past mistakes could be repeated. Don't shy away from doing things differently now, and be open to new ideas. You interact easily with others, even those you work with are receptive to any ideas you put forward regarding your professional future. This trend continues in your personal life. Even though you have fun meeting new friends, don't forget existing ones, as they all benefit your well-being. However, you could do with some activity on the fitness front. You need to ensure you're not so forceful when you demand to get your own way. Not only in your personal life but at work as well you sometimes take advantage of situations to make progress at the other's expense, leading to arguments that it's far preferable to avoid, what you say lands you in trouble, hold back instead try harder not to cause offense. Also remember to stay grounded and humble as you articulate your thoughts. Egos could clash right now, and there's a risk that an argument could manifest, so watch out for confrontational people as well. You might be involved in power struggles, so avoid throwing your weight around just for the fun of it. Remember that we are all in this together, and someone who doesn't understand your ways isn't necessarily attacking you. Remove yourself from toxic people as you engage with those who understand and support you. In the pre-dawn hours, Chiron, which has been retrograde in Aries since July 19, stations direct. Over the past six months, confrontations with past pain have occurred more on an internal than an external level. That is to say, we've had to do battle with projections more than flesh and blood aggressors. Committing to our self-work has been our primary mechanism for healing and catharsis. By facing our fears and acknowledging old wounds, we have rediscovered our latent strengths and leadership potential. Now that we have investigated the contents of our own psyches, we must take lessons learned out into our daily reality. Bravery will be required to navigate anxieties in real time without resorting to reactivity. Over the next seven months as Chiron is in direct motion, seek to face conflict with courage and conviction. Following this, the Capricorn New Moon helps us to set intentions for working manifestation magic. Capricorn New Moons always fall around the start of the new calendar year, and we can use this occasion to establish resolutions for 2023. Although resolutions can be set anytime, Writing them down on this date may give them a bit of extra staying power, relative to Capricorn's archetypal tenacity and perseverance. What kind of enterprises do you want to build now? In what arena do you want to achieve lasting success? Relationships? Health? Work? This goal-oriented new moon encourages us to lay the foundation for the inevitable attainment of our chosen goal. This moon also squares off with Jupiter which ordinarily can see us setting our bar too high. We can expect too much of ourselves, or craft intentions that are too lofty to reach. However, we can avoid disappointment by breaking our ambitions down into manageable pieces, which is a particular talent of the Capricorn Sun and Moon. Slow and steady wins the race. There is no issue in setting our sights on the tallest peak, as long as we remember that our ascent will take time and patience. 